Welcome to this FAQ video about the latest features of Relux Desktop. A few weeks ago Relux launched version 2022 of Relux Desktop, in which the emergency lightning tools were significantly extended and improved. Through the What is New Relux in Relux Desktop tutorial on the front page, the new features have been introduced to you and you have had time to test them and send us questions. In this video we will show you the new functions once again, before I answer the most frequently asked questions. So let's get started. New feature, emergency lighting tools. The latest update of Relux Desktop focuses on redesigning the entire emergency lighting planning process. When selecting a new emergency object from the insert menu, a window opens automatically in which the desired standard can be entered before the object is inserted into the scene. From now on it is also possible to change the emergency settings by right-clicking on the luminaire and selecting the desired option in the configuration window. As soon as an emergency object such as a measuring surface or an emergency luminaire is placed into a scene, the new emergency ribbon is automatically displayed in the menu bar. Calculate in addition to anti-panic areas, escape routes and high-risk areas, now also the visibility range of emergency signs. All commands and tools needed for emergency lighting in one tab means that one can now work even more efficiently when planning emergency lighting projects in Relux Desktop. The new automatic placement tool adds the required amount of luminaires according to the standards of the measuring area, and the live result tool displays the results immediately. If an emergency light is selected and moved in the scene while the live result function is active, the measuring surface changes and displays the new colors without delay. The Emergency Sign Visibility tool is a novelty in the software industry and finally makes it possible to place the emergency signs within the required visibility. As long as the visibility option is active, a green area is displayed in the floor plan as well as in the 3D view, indicating the visibility range of the emergency sign in the scene. Depending on the height of the emergency sign itself, the visibility range varies. After calculating the emergency lighting plan, a completely new result output is available that shows the most important results. In addition, all emergency luminaires are marked with a capital E in the luminaire list of the room description. Can the size of the emergency light symbol be changed? Yes, this is possible. Take a look at the, my screen. You can see that I have a room with one luminaire inserted and this luminaire is an emergency luminaire with the symbol on it. If now I do a right click and here it is important that no object is selected so if I do a right click now and go to the properties I can change the symbol size in this gap. For example if I would like to reduce the size I can enter 0 and you can see it's smaller now or in the opposite way I want to increase the size and this is the way I can change the symbol size according to my needs. Is it possible to change the size of the emergency sign in the 3D view? Yes. Take a look at the emergency tab. On the left side we have the emergency object and here I can select an emergency sign for my door and I turn it and place it directly above it. If I check now the 3D view, let's move it a little bit upwards, 
I see that there is a 3D object of this emergency sign. And if I would like to change the size of it, I can simply go in the properties here. We will find on the height already the current height of it. So 15 centimeters and here then I change it to 30 centimeters and the size will change automatically for the 3D object in the scene. Can false color results from multiple measuring surfaces be displayed in the live result mode? Yes, this is possible. As you can see, in my room there is an emergency luminaire in the middle of it and an escape route and additional additionally to it an anti-panic area. In the emergency tab I can activate the live results and immediately the live result for the anti-panic area are displayed. This is the case because this area is selected in this moment. So if I switch to the escape route by clicking on it in the project, um, project window, I have the results immediately shown for this measuring surface. When I deactivate de the grid, it is even better displayed. So I can also immediately insert another rectangular anti-panic area to show you that it is also working directly after placing a new measuring surface. Is it possible to change the distance to the wall of an anti-panic area? Well, you may be aware that if you will select the evaluation area, and select here anti-panic area that you will get immediately an anti-panic area with a half, half a meter distance to the wall. Even if you change the evaluation area so that the distance to border is here 0 0.2 meters. This is the case because the standards tell us that you have you should always have a distance to the border of a half a meter with the emergency calculations uh, this can be read in the standards 1838 uh, of 2019 in the chapter 4.3.1 even then it is possible to add a new emergency sorry uh, anti-panic area to your scene for example this one with the smaller distance to the wall. Where can the target value of a high risk area be changed? Unfortunately that's not possible. As you can see for the anti-panic area it is possible to change the specification illuminance. So for example here 0.5 lux. If on the other hand I select the task area such an option is not available. However you can here search for the correct nominal value and if we select the correct nominal value for our measuring surface for example here writing typing reading so 500 lux and we click ok this value is added to the task area and the high risk area needs 10 percent of this light which means we need 50 lux on this specific area here in emergency in, in emergency cases so if we launch the calculation now we can see in the emergency result overview 
that 50 lux is needed for this measuring surface and this is the reason why there is no value that can be changed but the correct nominal value can be chosen. Can the colors of the boundary lines on an escape route be changed? Of course. In the results of the emergency lightning calculation, we have once the uh, overview, then the escape route table and the boundary line for the escape route. And here we have three colors. Those can be changed in the view tab when we click on this little arrow here. As you can see, a new window will open in which the standard false colors can be changed or the colors for the thresholds, which is connected to the boundary line result. So for example, if we change the green to blue and click on OK, it will be immediately be displayed in the result page. Why do the tables and false colors show different results? Thank you very much. This question is very important. Let's take a look at this table here for the emergency calculation. Here you can see the minimum illuminance is 0.2.9 lux. But on the right side, in the bracket, we will find another value. It is 0.2 lux. So which one of these should be or is correct? First things first, it's the right one, the one, the value in the bracket. As you can see here, there is an important hint, values on fine measuring grid. For example, if we take a look at the anti-panic area of the boundary line, so the false colors, there the values in the bracket are not displayed, but the correct value 0.2 lux is displayed which means that this view here contains a lot, a lot of measuring points which are not displayed with values but with colors. If we compare it to the table here, we have a problem because it is not possible to display all measuring points in this view. So what Relux does is we take we use this calculation results here and draw lines and create a new grid and display all possible measuring points in this overview which means here we do not display all measuring points and these measuring points are most likely not at the edges of the measuring surfaces. So important for you to know is that the this overview is more accurate than the table overview and that the value in the bracket are the important ones. Does Relix Desktop take room reflection into account when calculating emergency lighting? No, there is no indirect fraction taken into account when doing an uh, emergency calculation. You can find this information here. But this question might refer from the calculation manager in which this option can be selected. However, if we open the emergency lightning part, this option is gone. What is the update group function in the emergency tab for?
This question refers to the update group command in the emergency tab. In order to use it, since now it is grayed out, we have to select first a luminaire, then we can check the parameters. If we want to, we can change them. And then we use the auto placing tool in order to place the right amount of luminaire in our scene. Here, three luminaires. So, in the next step, we could change the parameters or even change the luminaire. First, however, we have to select the field. And then, here I change to another luminaire. And now I can click on Update Group. So here, only one luminaire is needed. If I need 5 look instead of uh, 0 0.5 lux, uh, 5 lux, I can do the update group command again and Relux will automatically update my luminaire group in order to place the right amount of luminaire in my room. These were the most frequently asked questions we received after the last update of Relux Desktop. Do you have further questions about the new emergency lightning functions? On our website you can book the brand new self-study course Relux Emergency, in which the tools are explained in detail. Or simply leave a comment in the comment section so that we can answer your questions too. Thanks for watching, till next time, then again with new features.